Okay, here is part two of the ROM update, or actually I'm not really updating it, I'm changing the ROM. Uh, I'm assuming that you have seen part one, and this is part two, and you can see I have the same message down at the bottom telling me to please wait while your device is being set up. Here we go. I, I believe now it'll come up with the SIM, the SIM contacts. Tap the screen. Okay, on your Windows phone. I'm about to do this thing that all of you are familiar with. Really laggy here while it's doing this the first time because it's still updating the. You can do this anytime on this phone as you know. It's called Align the Screen. I was talking and that last one I got, it didn't press it properly so it said, hey you gotta do it again asshole. Well it didn't say asshole. But now on screen it's doing the same, look at, look at that focus. That's unacceptable. This is what it's doing at the bottom. Let's see if I turn on the lights. I think the autofocus may get back in sync here. Trying to get those taskbar uh, icons so you can see them. Now this is I guess I'll just hold these things closer to the Camera so it's in focus. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Okay, now what's going on on screen is Microsoft Active Sync is synchronizing my contacts, etc. That's all on the um, on the notebook computer, and it's putting it onto my Touch Pro 2. I'll let you look at that for a second.
There are some people that say take out your SIM card and take out your micro SD card when you're doing a ROM change or upgrade or update. I consider it a change. I don't do that. The main reason they have you do it is to prevent any uh, problems, but also if you're expecting somebody to call you, there's a danger that when they call, they may screw up the update process. So to prevent that from happening, they recommend that you take out your SIM card so no calls can come through. But I don't bother. And plus it's late at night, so you can see that this, what this does is it comes out with the UK time. And I have to go in there and say, hey, I'm not in the UK. I'm here on the West Coast. There's an eight-hour time difference, and that's why you see this set up to UK time. But it's easily changed. And there we go. We're all set. And then I can make various customizations that I want through here. This is, uh, for people that aren't aware, up here, this is called the task, task bar. And there's all kinds of customizations you, you can download from XDA developers and elsewhere. And usually it's, it's uh, people linking to XDA on their own sites like Pocket PC Now, um, Timo News, uh, etc they're linking to XDA so ultimately all this is stuff is from XDA but there's all kinds of little and this isn't considered upgrading your ROM it's just adding uh, it's a cab folder CAB or cab file and you just can update that uh, taskbar all kinds of icons they have up there to give whatever look you want down here these are called tabs each one of these Let's see, I'm not in the best focus it could be because of this white balance. And then this that scrolls across the tabs, this is a slider bar. Okay. Here's the weather. Defaults to Las Vegas. I do not know why. But let me see if I can go in here real quick. Add location, United States, and then S for San Francisco, and I'll go up here, here it is, and then I say update now, it may not update, and the reason is because I don't have my data connection yet, so I go here, then I go to communications, and then I go data connection okay I've got to go in there and set that up but anyway and then we have the 3G here you see, actually, here's what the issue is. I turn that off. Now I'm going to run out of time, but I wanted to demo this. You know, it just figures when I want to demo something that it's going to take a little. Hmm. Okay. Running out of time. Let me say okay.